Welcome back to Timberborn. My name is Nila. So we're here with experimental update four, and we are just still in this long drought that was uh, started at the end of our last episode, where we built this magnificent uh, water wheel works. And not only is it super efficient at delivering about 1800 uh, hamster power, uh, but also very uh, architecturally uh, nice with these walkways down below. We've just been started sort of get, making sure the beavers always have something to do. Then I've told them to expand our battery farm. Not that I really need it, but it just makes it really nice. Um, we also have a few things we want to do in our new, our lakeside. But let's talk a bit about what our objective is. And my objective today is to try to get a little, at least one golem. Just so that we can get there. But in order for us to get a golem, we need to be able to have like a more steady supply of, uh, of metal. And this seems like a great place. So if I built... I was kind of thinking I could build up here, but it there's just not a lot, lot of room to build anything. So I'm going to build here, and that's going to be on my Metalworks and Golem Works uh, location. At least Metalworks for now, and then a little Golem factory. Might make a dedicated massive Golem factory. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to go up here. And I'm actually deciding right here is where I want to go up. So let's start to sort of uh, have a sense of it. Uh, this means here and then i want to be able to hmm, let's see uh if i go one down and then one more down then i can go like this and like this yes which gives me an opportunity to go out at these two locations which i think is important and uh, then i'm going to be making sure that we do this um and then we'll have some line up here we will also be working on getting this connection all the way over here. That's super important. So that's going to be another big thing that we uh, we somehow have to get this over. And funnily enough, it's actually not so good level here. So I'm going to be... Actually, I think I'll actually just get it up in the same location here. So we'll just drag this over as well. Get this all the way up somehow up here. So now I've at least built the infrastructure for this part. It'll go all the way up here. And we can't really build it yet because I have to sort of be able to build it from the bottom and up. So we'll get to that. And I think that will work just fine. Uh, what we then also have a few things. Uh, we do have, oh, look at this. They are actually drying out. They'll dry in 1.3 days. So it's going to be close. I really don't want to lose all my kalrabi here. Oh, 0.9 days. Yeah, that's a little bit worse. Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, we might lose this. This was a long... Uh, a, a long drought these are also but they have 14 days until they dry up so it's uh it's it's okay uh, another thing we had uh, some people who are or some beavers who are injured and we have uh, a little warehouse here uh, maybe i should actually be upgrading this one there so that gets done and over here we had a healer built last time but we don't have anywhere to put the medicine and medicine is strangely enough it's a potion it's a liquid so we just pour medicine in this one look at that and of course if we do medicine we also have to make sure that we do here we take the lakeside we'll now be exporting medicine uh this one is exporting and never importing yes and over by home then we go uh, never exporting but importing as always though we don't really have anywhere to store it but as soon as we get this one done which is uh, what i'm gonna do now uh, there should be one here. This will also be set to medicine. And that means we now have medicine readily available for the injured beavers. And whereas our drought is almost ending. That's good. Over here, we haven't really done any progress. So we'll just wait for this progress to be, uh, to be done on this. And now the drought ended. And we should be getting water. But unfortunately, I think the flow of water comes in just a little bit too late. You can see that they start withering here. It's a little unfortunate because that's kind of our food that's uh, disappearing now. Uh, let's get this. Uh, come on, water. You can do it. Go in here faster. Uh, so when the water comes in, it's going to take like half a day or something for, for flowing in here. Uh, and you can just see that pe the thing here is weathering, withering like crazy. Uh, but we'll just see the first little bit of water. Where are we getting? Where are we getting? No, we're not really getting it, unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to have to accept that that just uh, died off during this long drought. We can do something later on about that, but that's not a concern right now. There we go. Now we have uh, water flowing in again. Whew. Uh, we lost 
I don't know, half of the crops. I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit unfortunate. You know what? I think this is also a good time for me to just get this part out of the way. Because uh, that's probably better for some kind of storage of sorts. So don't care about that. Uh, also, while we are at it, let's take this out. Because this will be a great location for me to build. I have also set up that we are no longer harvesting this. Because I want to have a... What is it called? A tree sapper? A sapper tree? Thank you. This one. I'll build that here so that they can... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I can actually just smash it on top. Great. So we'll build the, the tree sapper, the sapper shack here. And sap is also... Canola oil? No. What? How is... Resin, not a liquid. Huh. Okay. Well, it's not a liquid, I guess. Then we just uh, guess we just smash this one here when we can. And aside from this, we are going to get this one done. Uh, we are. I'm really, really keen on getting this particular one done because I can't really start designing anything up here until I have. Uh, I have this one, uh, this lumberjack, taking out some of the trees. Uh, we're going to build a district location up here as well. Uh, but we have some things that we need to prepare for the district. I'll put the district intersection right there. But uh, in order for us to start doing some of those district things, then uh, we're going to need some storage. And I have a pretty clever location for storage here, if I should say so myself. Look at that. Four levels of storage. Pretty good. And the first level will just go there. Second level will go from that one. Third level, or fourth, second level, whatever. Uh, we'll go from here. There we go. And there. And the fourth level, third level, whatever. The fourth top thing uh, is going to go from over here. And then in. Because any, any stuff we want here will actually need to go up. So the important thing is not whether you can go from different levels here. It's important that you can go from these and up until this location. What is your problem? Oh, this one. Just get the priority prioritized. Uh, you don't have anything to harvest, but you'll uh, you'll get it soon enough. All right, so we've, we've cleared enough of this location in order for us to start working on the stuff we need. We want to have our district building right here. Of course, I can't put it in until I have that locked off. But in order for us to lock it off, we need to build at least the storage and a few other things that I'd like to get, such as three houses. That's it. Um, we can also get... Well, actually, we probably should get that. That's uh, the storage. We're going to get some storage here, storage here. And we'll probably get double storage, but this should be enough for now. Just getting logs and uh, planks. Yes. That should be enough. And I will also eventually build up here uh, to get up to the second level of this part. And then let's see. What do I absolutely must have in order for us to get started on this level? Then I think these are important. Uh, once they, they are done, then I can build the district intersection. I uh, don't think I want anything else. This one should be very low priority. This one should be extremely low priority, actually. Uh, I don't have anyone assigned to it for right. Because these will just be connected to the new location here. They want their own water, so I don't have to transport water back and forth all the time. And so let's get these done just a little bit, and then, then we can build the new district. We are now ready to build the new district. It's a big thing that uh, we want to build this. Now I cut it off, and then they're no longer part of the district. I will now take a, the new in-district crossing there, and I will build a new district here. So I've built these ones. You can see here they have kohlrabis, they have mangroves, they have ferment, a little bit of fermented, no cassavas yet, a little bit of berries, and then some mushrooms. And up here we'll have gears and explosives, because of course you put the explosives on top of all the food. That makes perfect sense. Now this one, District 3, should be called Metalopolis. There we go. Metalopolis, of course. And then we need to um, administrate some things. There can be eight in each of these, right? These row houses. Uh... I don't remember. I think so. Which means I should be getting... Uh, we'll set that up here. We only want adults in here. And let's get 15. Good. There we go. 15. 
And in the beginning, we definitely want more workers because what else are they going to do except work? And then I will also be building just out here. We'll be dragging this one along. Oh, that's that's great. This is really great. And we need to be able to get over to this location somehow. And I think that we could use this one, but I don't really like it. I think we'll just take something like this and just try to bridge across this gap here. Uh, that is the same height as that. So let's see. What if I build something like this and then that I have to be absolutely sure that it hits the same place? That is just not it, is it? Uh, yeah, that's difficult. We'll, we'll, we'll try. Now the question becomes whether we want to spend 3,200 here on a suspension bridge. Fine, we can do the, this one, it's only 1,600. And then that builds exactly like this. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. And then we go up here and then we have a connection over to the other part and eventually also to this once we get a little bit further but this is uh looking pretty nice we now have a pretty good idea about what this would be looking like we can have a look at uh, this part we'll also cut out all the rest of the forest here uh, cut out all this just to, to make sure is that even in range no it's not even close to in range so we'll build a few more of these uh, up here there we go We'll also build something over on this side because that kind of obviously seems like there is a good opportunity to go down here, down there, down there, there, and finally cut that forest out because, hey, free trees. I like it. Free the trees. There we go. And we're now working on getting the hauling post because that's also going to be super important. Now, all this is done. Uh, this one actually has to be like the highest priority of all because we don't really have anything uh, else that's more important than this. Now, our district is done. So it's time for us to set up how to set up the or how to uh, build the district. So let me just set it up in the way that we want it to be done. I'll start by setting everything to do not export anything and do not import anything from the new location because that's easier for me. So I don't know, need to make sure that what are we actually going to import and export? I will be um, importing always wood because that's something we don't want it. We want it to be relying on this own water. But if it really comes down to it, I guess you could export something. I don't know if that's probably not a good idea to do that. But anyway. Um, then on the food part, we will not have any food. So we will always be imp importing all the food from everywhere else. Thank you. Uh, all of this is just intermediate. We're not going to get any of those in or any of those out. What are we going to do in terms of getting them up here? We now have a, a unique supply of, of scrap metal. Scrap metal. Uh, right now we're exporting it, which I don't really think we want. We don't want to be ex exporting scrap metal because um, we want to uh, process it internally here. Uh, we, what else do we want to import? We definitely want to import wood planks, and we definitely want. Uh, we definitely don't want to import this. We'll actually be exporting all of the metal plates. We want to import this and import here, and then let's look at medicine. Oh, that's a bot head. We're not going to export bot heads. Uh, medicine. We'll eventually get that. Um, let's actually set it as needed instead and then i think that's actually okay all the other ones remain as they are because they're still set up to export and import as as they should so that's kind of uh, all you have to do even if you do it the most complicated way the way i do it uh, then that's still a pretty simple setup and we are just about to have the connection all the way from down here spinning happily getting all the way up here and that gives us now there we go now it's fully connected that gives us now the opportunity to Replenish this. There we go. Do I want all five of them at once? I don't think so, but uh, I kind of want to. Let's see. So we, what we also need to do now is uh, get some storage. And I'd like to get these storages over here. But that's kind of someone's in the way. So I'll just be making this part so I can build uh, this storage dedicated. Actually, I just think I want one more of this. There we go. And then I want to have storage, these storage, industrial storage, in, in, there, there. Just want to make sure that I have as much as possible in terms of all of the storage. There we go. And drought started. That also means what uh, these two need to be stopped during the drought. 
And this needs to be started during the drop. There we go. So they are now spinning. That's another 2,000 back in line on this here. And it's way more than I actually need. I guess that you're going to go take it out. Uh, but we also have a massive extra storage here, which is slowly trickling down. That's fine. Nope, it's going up again. Great. So over here, we now have a, a work cut out for us on doing this. We have back, back in our original location. We don't really have a lot of stuff to do. So this might be a good opportunity for us to do some stuff like a beaver statue. What does that cost? Uh, 30 of those. Okay. What about the big ones? The monuments? Let's get a laborer monument. Yeah. 1000 points. That's fine. What does that cost? 200 wood. Oh man, I should have built this like way earlier. This is uh, this is so important. So good. Let's uh, smash it up here. Uh, can I reach it? Yeah, I can reach it. Good. And then we're also going to make one in the new location or this uh, the lakeside district that will be what if I built here and then I can build that here and then I can actually get here and then you know that's probably just a fine location to go in order for us to make actually there's a lot of other things we could make up here as well we should uh, well I don't need the rooftop ter terrace so no need for that this is dirt cheap so let's smash it in here to make sure that everything gets covered uh, you can even do it there it's gonna be even better and I also think up in our new location I also want it uh, where do we want it here? We could smash it in at this location. That's pretty good. That will definitely cut, uh, cover everything. Um, I could also build it up here. That's actually a really nice place. No, it's not a nice place. It's This is a good enough place. We'll put it here. Good. That will be uh, giving us quite a lot extra. And what else do we want? We could do this uh, little beaver statue. That has a really nice area as well. So we want to make those beaver statues or these things so that they cover their sleeping quarters because that means they will always be affected if they are uh, coming in and out of their sleeping quarters. And they obviously are. So I'm going to be basically surrounding the sleeping quarters with this so that there's no way for them to get in and out. You know what? That's a bad location. This one isn't really necessary anymore. So I'd rather put it in here, which means that now... It is not possible to get in or out of your sleeping quarters unless you are going past a statue. And down here, we have that here. That's the same thing. So that's kind of how I want to optimize the amount of, uh, of work we can get done on that. Uh, over here, we also have the number cruncher that I'd like to get. It's a little expensive, but it's something we are definitely going to get uh, here. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do it because I might need to bot factory. That's 500 and there's a lot of things here. Yeah, that's, let's uh, save a little bit on this. So thanks to these new beaver, beaver statues, we now have gold up to 18. And that's because if we look at this, uh, almost everyone is affected by the labor statue. Obviously the ones that are not affected are the ones that are in the new district where the labor statue hasn't been built yet. Uh, if we look at this, uh, wet fur is the one that we can't really get uh, that comes also with the lido and also the fact that well it's not really uh, time right now we have a lot of things other things like shrine we could do that we could do books for example but uh, right now we don't really have a lot of uh, of, uh, of of input what about all the other ones this one is not that bad ten tiles uh, this is not that bad this one is a little bit expensive a little bit expensive but uh, oh it also take this one also takes uh, horsepower that's fine but we'll uh, We'll maybe make this, oh, 3,000. I don't want to use 3,000 because then I can't do what I'm supposed to do in this episode. So let's uh, go back here. They are kind of stalling out a little bit, to be honest, uh, with building here. Oh you God. are injured, but I have built some uh, locations here for you. Uh, maybe they just need to be buffed up a little bit. That one, that one. Oh, also, we should have probably the teeth grinding thingy. We should also have that just so that we're sure that they, if they need it, they can also get that. And let's get these just there. Get those sorted. And should I also prioritize this? Uh, what we are generally making, these three are great. And now we are also should be in the position. Let me just check. We have lots of plates. Well, 18 plates. That's not really great. Why do we only have 18 plates? Ah, because this has not been built yet. Oh, we don't have any storage for it. Oops. Let's uh, get some storage done. And then we can... We can finally get this, uh, get this stored in a much better way. Another drought has ended. Didn't have any impact here. It was a relatively short drought, so 
no problem there. Uh, the one thing that we want to do here, now we could turn these off. Um, I am also just kind of leaning, even though we're not really building quite fast enough up here. This is still working a bit slowly. We have four people working uh, or a few people building. And in the meantime, we're just desperately trying to get more stuff inbound. If we look at this, we are now also would like to get some treated planks because I have now emptied this entire region here for... Uh, let's see, what do we have? We don't have any scrap metal in here because that's been removed. You will now be importing scrap metal. Uh, you have a lot of scrap metal here, but uh, we have them. Actually, I'd like the, one of these to be... Should I mark it as empty? Um, should I mark it as one of those as empty? It doesn't matter. I can't really move it in here anyway because I have too much. So that's uh, beside the point. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll actually take these two out. Interestingly, and okay, that was a mistake. Oops, uh, should have built the other one. Should have taken the other one out. Never mind, I'll have to take these two both out. So instead of that, I want to make the wood workshop. There, cost 800, ouch. Because it takes the same amount of space, so why not just replace it here? Uh, that means that we can now do... Uh, let's see, we can then do some more storage here. That one, and that one, and this will be... This will be this shiny planks. Actually, I don't want this. I don't want two of those, but we want one of these with shiny planks for sure. Uh, this also now means that in this area, do we not have some scrap metal now? I think we should have picked up some scrap from uh, deconstructing this. Like all of some of this should be scrap. Doesn't matter. If we have it, then we can uh, we can export it. If we look at this part, uh, do we have scrap metal in here? No, not at all. But if we do. We can throw it out because I don't want it here. All right, so I'm going to build something up here uh, because I think we do need a little bit more in terms of foresting here. So I'm going to be building uh, a little bit in terms of here. So we're going to make this area over here, make it wet by uh, just getting some... Oh, hold on. You're supposed to be building this one. Oh, yeah, get some logs in there. Uh, that has to be super priority and that's super priority. The idea here is that once we get this one, we'll get some green area here. I can plant the forest and then, I mean, eventually I'll get some uh, some trees up here. There we go. Green splash all over the place. And once this one is done, we can then start planting some trees. The question is, should I make some fast growing trees or should I just be making that's one and nine, two and twelve, two and ten? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's aquatic. Or should I just go with the big one? I think I'll just go with the big one. There. There we go. So that is now uh, done for this. Actually, we might want to take just a little bit out of this. Just in order to make two of these. That will be obviously paused. Because they're not going to happen for 30 days. And there we go. Um, this one, we just got a little splash in. And then we'll try to remember to keep sp keep splashing it up uh, later on as well. And there's the like, two tiles here that are not going to be built. Great. I think that's a good sort of a thing to do. It costs one, uh, one worker, but that's not so much. Uh, also, another little thing. I'm just noticing how little I have left here. That's 35 and that's 44. So about 100 left. Is that because I'm storing it? Nope. I store metal blocks. Okay, so we also need to get on the other side of this part soon-ish. But that there's nothing here that requires it. It's not like the uh, the bridge here requires metal, does it? Oh, 40 metal blocks. Okay, so we, let's keep in mind that we don't use all of our metal blocks before we build this one. So this little beautiful location is now getting done. And... Uh, well, uh, it's now time to get onwards to the big thing that I wanted to do today. I really also wanted to do the number cruncher to get more signs, but that's not it. We're going to want a bot factory. Yes. We want a bot assembler. Yes. We want a charging station. Yes. And then we want the control tower. Yes. And all these are expensive. The first things we need to do is get the bot factory. This is a... If we look at this, there's 18 hours to do the head, four and a half hours to do an arm, and 18 hours to do a body. And there needs to be, if we assemble, you can see that there's four. So it's actually one, one, one uh, ratios here. So if we can just do one, one, 
one and then one as one assembler. Uh, no, actually, it needs two assemblers to make it good ratios. There we go. And uh, then I will need to get some power over here. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I forgot this because these should actually be up top because there's no reason not to have them up top. Uh, so that will be like there and there, I guess. And uh, then we need to get the power. Power can come over. We're going to be, we could, well, we can drag it over on this side and then get it down. Like this. And then in here. And then get it across. That should be just one build here. But we don't need to make sure that we can also get up to this location. So that will be... These two have to be like that. And I need to find a way to get up to that location. Um, here. Hmm. Guess there's not really any other options than doing this way. There we go. Oh, we got 20. Lovely. So with 20, we get quite an upgrade here. And nothing to do in range. Okay, so this is now completely worn out. We don't get any more scrap into this location. Uh, we have to get this built right now. Uh, how are we doing on this? Not really. How are we doing this? Oh, this one needs to... Ah, that's why it didn't work. Okay, so uh, we had this. I will just be prioritizing this because now we don't have anything else. There we go. So that's going to be prioritized in order for us to get working. And we also need to get all of this over here, which also will take a little bit of time. And we are kind of low on uh, on science. What about... Uh, oh, that's 1,500. Oops. Well, we'll just have to get 1,500. So now that the next drought has hit, I've also decided to build a lake, uh, a crossing between the lake area and uh, this part here. Uh, because I realized that the food coming from the, the lake district into uh, the home district and then all the way over here was just super inefficient. So now we'll cut down on all of these. We'll now have two on either side here. And we'll have two on either side here because the majority of the food will come food will come from here and then other crafting materials will come from the home district into the new location but if we look at it if we just take a stock of the situation they're up to 19 in happiness here well-being so that's also really good this is also going to be turned off so we have built these but our struggle is very much the fact that we are limited very much on logs in this area so uh, we're not getting any logs because we haven't built this one yet or these have not grown up they are the fastest ones are still only 35 percent so that's not really going to happen anytime soon on the other hand well uh, we need to get stuff inbound but we also had to stock up on food because we were actually running dangerously low on food now we're pretty happy on the food levels for for uh, all of these so i hope that the stuff that's being brought in uh, will be well gears and stuff maybe from here we'll have look at that all of the food here is coming in that's a lot of uh, food that's being brought in immediately but that's great because that's uh that means we are happy but it also just means that we're getting a, a little less of everything else so we get planks we just need yeah it's the logs that we really need to get in here we do not have the robot parts yet or the robot assemblers, but they are working and we do have these robot parts and uh, because we now need more people in here, we are going to upgrade. Let's do five more because that's actually going to be five here. Uh, the maximum we can get is 24 in this location, but we also have a little problem with the home location is, uh, yeah, well, not enough, but we are trying to get, whoa, that's a lot of the injured viewers. Okay, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, so we're working here on getting the planks, gears, and metal blocks. Planks, gears, metal blocks. And uh, once we have that, we also have over here. Now I've set up the logistics as I have done in uh, in my previous build. And that's basically so that whatever is out here, they are not set to priority. And they will just fill up locally. They are not set to... Uh, the haulers will be coming in here. But if the haulers are not coming in, then as this gets filled up they will just start throwing it into this large industrial pile that's next to it so they won't get mm, stuck they if they fill up their their little local uh, storage here and uh, but you know the haulers seem to be doing their their work uh, also if we look at just generally 
Storage-wise, everything is fully stored, except actually the kohlrabis. And the kohlrabis is becomes, it's coming from here. It should at least be coming from this. Uh, let's have a look at the kohlrabis. Isn't that like super saturated here? Uh, yeah, we should be exporting it from this location. And let me just check that because that's kind of how it should be. Let's see. Kohlrabis is being exported from home and then it'll go into here. I am importing it. Yes. So we do have some. And that's also why if you look at our little beavers here, how happy they are in this location. They even got their uh, their wetness going quite high because we have some of that. We have a light. I don't know why they have a light over. That doesn't matter. But they have the labor monument. And uh, then this is working all as it should be. So we want to make sure that we have this. We need gears. We need um, planks. And what do we need here? Gears, planks, and metal. And over here, it's metal and planks. So that's a lot of planks. We might even be made, need to make a couple of plank factory here. Uh, that doesn't really make sense until this one actually starts coming in. But then it makes a lot more sense uh, now that, that we can use this one to make planks locally and get it in here. So that's going to be like the long term. But right now, it's all about just getting the ingredients to get a few. We have bot limbs available. We don't have any chassis and we don't have any bot heads, but we will get those. And we have now built the first bot assembler. There we go. It is uh, working on assembling, assembling the first bot. There we go. And we just need some charging as well once that's done. But I think we will we can just get one of these chargers to be a little bit higher priority. Uh, why did it stop? Nighttime. Uh, okay, that's kind of a good reason. And while we're doing that, the other one is just slowly, slowly filling up. So let's uh, get the first part online so we can get uh, get that done. And we can uh, have start having the robots taking over. So I've decided to build a, a some industrial lumber mills and some gear workshops up here. Those will be helping to support the workplace here. Uh, here's also an interesting thing that I forgot all about. The fact that almost everything, this is where the majority of, uh, of science will go, is to unlock everything. But luckily this one is already unlocked. So we can set Ironbot 1 and we'll get Ironbot 2 going in here. And that means we have the first robot working here. Are you working? Well, you're not working because we don't have uh, these two things uh, set up just yet. So we'll, we'll get these two things uh, set up and they will require a little bit of planks as well. Uh, a bit ironic that I didn't build it the right place to start with. Uh, we're going to need some charging place as well. So that means we are really short on planks and planks is the, really the, the, the limiting factor here. So for, for once, it's not the lumber. We, well, actually, it's also lumber, but it's also planks. All right, so we are actually in a position where I would say that we have built the first uh, robots. Uh, they are working. Look at them. Look how happy he is. Look at that durability. Oh, yeah, they uh, decry decrease their durability. Uh, we will now be focusing a lot more on making science. Now that we also, we also going to be a little bit constrained. Oops, uh, we should have turned this on off while it is. There we go. While we're in, in uh, this setup here, let's see. Yeah, well, actually, we are not in a position where we can actually keep everything flowing. That's interesting and something we might need to do something about in the future. So uh, we now have, oh, we do have the other one as well. Look at that. Brilliant. Uh, we now have uh, both of those assemblers going. I mean, obviously, I am not going to be operating both of us. That's uh, just unsupportable at this moment. Uh, so what we need right now is to start replacing all the workers here because we need way more workers than we have available. So we need to replace the workers with robots so that we can uh, we can just start spreading out. And this, uh, this area will be entirely robot run in the future. But that's going to be taking quite a little bit of time here. Everyone's, everyone's wounded or injured, right? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, well, that's... Uh, we can, we can do something about that, right? So let's uh, let's do that. But that's um, another concern. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, foray into robots, into a Metalopolis location and uh, our cliffside uh, district up here working quite well. And we have our bridge as well, suspension bridge as well. So uh, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode or maybe on Twitch where I'll continue this series. Until next time, take care and as always, stay effective.